Okay, here we are back in uh, episode 82 of LEGO Marvel's Avengers, moving into the free second part of the free play level Korea prospects with Falcon and Vision right now as our two guys. Uh, of course, this is a level where the Ultron minions will spawn continuously. And this is the level where I got stuck looking for um, something that was actually fairly obvious in sight uh, the entire time. So... You can see that we've got uh, potential mini kit arrows in all directions, including down here on the ground. So after I destroy a few cars, up oh, that reveals the collector over here on the left. So we're going to be looking at um, going over and talking to him. And this hot dog stand is also going to become important to us. And I'm imagining that I'm making the car the car market in Korea very happy, or at least the car sellers. Not so much the car buyers. Because what I'm doing is reducing inventory here. And that of course is gonna raise price. Nobody really wants me to raise price. Right, up oh, so there's one that's just right there, so hey, we've got that. So that's seven. There's three left, and just scouting around here with the Falcon. Now, this is the difference, of course. The uh, movie-based Falcon uses uh, propulsion to fly around. The uh, classic Falcon uses actual wings that flap. And Vision is attacking this uh, Ultron minion. Not sure Vision can actually kill that guy, but okay, here's uh, something for me to play with. I've got a couple of um, Avengers thingies over here. Of course, I'm destroying more cars. So we're going to go grab our guy that we usually grab for these situations, and that would be Spider-Man, and we are going to first do a super move to get rid of some Ultron guys before revealing a giant gold thing that we need to melt down. So we've got vision, uh, so all we're going to do is get rid of the annoying guy right there. Then we're going to melt this thing down, reveal a character token for what looks to be the Mandarin um, in the trash bin. I guess it's somewhat appropriate to have the Mandarin's character token here in Korea, considering the Mandarin uh, is supposed to be a Chinese character who hangs out uh, in old Chinese ruins which are, of course, near alien spaceships. I just find it neat that uh, Vision can sort of dive into these white things, but it's not actually something that we need to be doing in order to figure this all out. So here we have another uh, set of Avenger thingies. So even though we brought the Falcon back, we're going to likely have to move out of him again to go back to Spider-Man, again, just to make this a little bit easier. Right, any excuse to use uh, the web head. And you can see the fish here. Knocked him off the top of the, the stand. Uh, strangely enough, the fish seems to have disappeared. But there's now a dig plate under the hot dog stand. So we need to find somebody who digs. And of course, our number one go-to dig guy is Black Panther. So we'll do a little bit of super move there and then... Black Panther will dig the fish back up. And I guess that's what the collector was looking for. Um, so, there's the red brick. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we're still looking for, I think, three mini kits. And, uh,. That may be it. All right, well, I think we're done with this hot dog stand. Um, however, there are these... You, you can see these white things on the ground here, and I'm not entirely certain at this point how to, uh, to get into those. Obviously, I can't dig into them. I can't laser in them or missile them. It suggests to me that 
I really need to do some work somewhere else to, to get this to go. And so we're going to go over here on this side of the road and look for things that we haven't done. Uh, we have to get into that garage anyway to finish the level. So we have the superior Iron Man breaking things. Here's a here's a wall for us to break. Looks like it'll lead us in the direction of a uh, of another mini kit. So we can go in and get somebody who can break this wall. Um, we're going to try to do it with the Silver Centurion since we're already into Tony. And unfortunately, by the time the Silver Centurion shows up, you know there's an Ultron guy, but then he flew away. So yay for that. So here we go. We can. Press X in order to break into here. And then we can go up into the shaft, or maybe not. Looks like there's material for us to build with here. Alright, so let's build this let's build this thing, whatever this thing is. And this thing is a vent or grate. A drain. I've referred to them as so many things. So if we're gonna be dealing with those. It's time for the vision to uh, work his magic, and there's a uh, mini kit right there. So now we need two mini kits. We've got everything else taken care of. We just need to work again. We got to deal with these two things, and one of them is related to these this stuff in the ground, and the other one uh, is currently deals with something up there. Okay, so we got Vision uh, taking care of some Ultron dudes. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and rescue this person as you would do in the normal level um, to get more pieces to build the thing that we need to build out here. Now I'll go ahead and start... well, no. I thought I was going to start building that. Notice we've got two visions going on right now. There's the visions individual super move. And there is the thing uh, that triggers the next part and will allow us to get into the garage over there. So we've got two visions. We'll let them play with this car. Now, that changed the way that uh, that little thing looked. If you notice, the it turned gray. I'm not sure that means anything at the moment. Um, we've got the Captain America... Uh, shield lock open so now we can get the garage door up cap and the vision continue to fight Ultron uh, spawnies here find a lot of neat uh, studs and stuff what I'm looking for is uh, building materials something that something uh, different because in the story mode we built this uh, this speed ramp. So I mean that's we, we kinda know where that goes and what that does. So let's go and build with the uh, Maximoff twins here. Alright, so there's Scarlet. Scarlet Witch has built the uh, thing for us. Now we need someone with some speed who can get up and and use it for what it's meant for. Okay, can't still can't uh, do anything to these little indentations in the ground that I think hold one of the key to one of the two remaining. Um,
things. All right, so I got a little bit more of this thing built. Again, just to get it kind of out of the way. You'll note that uh, I still haven't knocked down the uh, the partition over there on top of the uh, shop. I kind of like the Superior Iron Man design. I just kind of wish that it wasn't attached to a character who was sort of infamous and, you know, was involved in doing some rather... Uh, not so good things. And I'm not sure if that's not the case with any character who refers to himself as uh, superior. You know, the superior Spider-Man was a was the period of time when, you know, Doc Ock was in control of Spider-Man's body. Um, Alright, so now we're up here uh, with the Iron Bulldog and we know we can break this stuff and send it down. And build this little ladder here. So he goes away, and then we're going to go up top. Because after all, we do have another uh, mini kit perhaps up there. Yep, you can see it. You can see the, the letter kind of up here in this desk. Alright, that gets us the ninth mini kit. And after I destroy this office, because that's what I do to offices, and the computer becomes a second Iron Bulldog, which is sort of unusual. The computer usually won't turn into characters that are not uh, given to the level by itself. All right, now we know Stan is back there, but we also know we don't necessarily need to rescue him. But while we're here, it would be worth a couple more studs at least. Um, so we'll clear out the fire, clear out this Ultron baddie. And now Stan uh, can get loose. And now we can use this vent. Up, oh, we can act... Okay, we can mind control this, or telekinesis this vent uh, down to where we can use those parts to build the remainder of our little uh, tower station. Which is good, but it does bring up one final point. How are we going to get to that last... Um, how are we going to get to that last mini kit? Because ordinarily when you're looking at a situation like this, um, where things are in the ground, you'd expect to like build a Lego tractor or something of that nature uh, in order to get into those things. You know, so I mean, that's that's just how it is. All right, so now we're back to the vision, and let's look at the one thing we haven't destroyed, and that would be this thing over here. So I bounce on it, and it reveals, looks to be one of those Thor charging things, but an electric switch, which you could use uh, either the Black Widow or Thor with. Uh, not, not the Falcon, so we're going to have to get, we're going to have to switch one of our characters over. So let's go ahead and get, um, well, you know me, I'd like to switch to my created characters when I can. This is the, there's the Iron Bulldog making another appearance in this level. Summoning the electricity of Thor and then plugging it in. And that's going to eject this thing, which needs to be fixed by a Tony Stark character. Of course, Superior Iron Man was given to us at the beginning of the level, so we will use him here, and now we'll put him in the car. Now, driving these things is always a little bit interesting, just because the control on them is not great. Alright, but we got the first thing opened. 
We still need to get to the other two. Now, I, I'm pretty sure this is an issue of, you know, it, it responds to the last one you open. Um, okay, so we just need to get to this third one here. And there it is. And in that final hole is the final mini kit. So there we go. We have successfully gotten what we needed to get. We can go ahead and activate the call switch for Hawkeye and get us out of this level. Access granted. So here he comes. There we go. And we're finished here. So next time... Next time I think we... Um, I don't think we go to Hawkeye's farm at this particular moment. Tell you what, next time we'll just continue free playing through the Age of Ultron storyline and we'll just see where we end up. We could end up in Sokovia, or we could end up on Hawkeye's farm. Um, but we've unlocked Komodo. We've unlocked the true Mandarin. Uh, we've unlocked Ultron Prime. So, you know, we've gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff done here. And I will see you next time. I think the cements stand the man as the king of cameos. chance you could grab some shawarma while